Hi guys, it's Ariel. So, I'm so excited. Today is, um, actually a show that I'm extremely thrilled about. Um, it is the acoustic show for Zach Myers of Shinedown. Um, technically this is the fourth time I've seen Zach live because I have seen Shinedown three times and by the way, they are amazing. Just side note there, they are incredible. Um, I decided to vlog because this is actually a very important thing for me because I am getting, getting to cover this show. So I uh, talked to the entertainment manager, he's been with me on Facebook, and the venue I mean, not Zach's, and uh, he's giving me a press pass or a photo pass, something like that. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work because this is a smaller venue and, it, and it's currently April 6th or 7th. April 7th, that's what it is. It's currently April 7th. When you see this, it'll probably be sometime later than that. It'll definitely be sometime later than that. I don't know what day I'll upload this on. Um, but no, so nothing set in stone except for the fact that I am covering the show and going to take pictures and then I'll do like an official write-up thing tomorrow on the website. So that'll be up by the time you see this, so that'll be in the description box. Um, Thank you, Brad, by the way, for pulling strings and letting me and uh, my best friend Jeremy come, and my mom's also coming, my dad's coming, which is actually kind of interesting, because this will be the first time he's actually seen me in action, like the way that I take care of shows and stuff, and my mom's friend Steve is coming, and it's also the first time he's seen me in action, but it's not that big of a deal, because it's one of my mom's friends, it's kind of a big deal with my dad. Um... And I've never been to an acoustic show either, so I'm really excited about that. And I don't know what he's going to be playing. Uh, and I think I actually have permission to show you guys, because uh, I'm pretty sure Zach's manager even was informed about me. Um, I did email him for an interview, but I never got a response. But it's at a small venue, so I'm still going to try. Um... So, yeah, and Jeremy will be here in the next couple hours. He's excited. He's already texted me like three times. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to have him manning the camera a little bit later so I can take pictures and stuff, but I want him to be filming some too. So, we'll see how well this goes because I've never actually tried doing something with both cameras before, like out in public. So, we'll see how well this goes. Hopefully, I won't get shy and not vlog because... I actually tried to vlog yesterday when I was uh, with my friend Patrick. That didn't work. Not at all. I didn't even pull the camera out even though I had it with me. Um, I'm a horrible YouTuber still. I'm gonna quit rambling now. So this one's here. There's somebody at the door. I wasn't gonna forget. You load it up for two seconds, doorbell, and then you pause it and then you forgot. Well, there was a good reason for it. My grandma showed up to bring me that. If you can't really see it very well, which you might not be able to because uh, this camera sucks sometimes. She brought me a laptop. Yay! So now I have a computer that isn't that crappy thing. And I don't mean that crappy thing. He's on a computer. He can't go on the internet. My phone? Yes, your phone can, not you. He's busy texting. So, um, he's here now. We're gonna go to the show later. Uh, Mom's friend is not coming with us. Sorry, I was fixing his hair. It was bothering me. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna do that, and I'm really excited for the show. Um, I have all my questions done. Somebody gave me a brilliant one, so thank you for that. I think your name was Jen. I don't know for sure. I can't remember. I wrote it down. Um... I'm actually going to have him taking care of the camera later, so God knows what he's going to do. Um, I'll probably give him some things, be like, film this, and then just hand him the camera and walk off. But he might just use it whenever he wants. Um, so I don't know what to expect with that. I don't know what to expect with the rest of the night because it might, it sounds like we're going to be there most of the night because the first act doesn't go on until like 8. And there's three or four acts. <laughs> so is it Zach, just Zach and Justin? No. Yeah. There's also something Hill. I can't remember how to Ingram pronounce it. Ingram Hill. Ingram but Hill. But that's Justin's, oh. Justin Moore's band. Oh, it's just him, them 
and then there is also a local one called Dolt. Because it it says on the because yeah know, it says shine down and it says special guest and it says uh, Zach Myers from Shine Down with Justin Moore the lead guitar lead singer and oh. guitarist of um Ingram Hill oh okay so then no it's Justin Moore. Zach. Zach Myers, most known for his work with the band rock band Shine Down, and Justin Moore, lead singer and guitarist for rock band Ingram Hill, who okay. performed an acoustic set. Okay, so no, then it's just those two and a local one named Dolt. I was apparently misunderstanding and thought that Justin and Ingram Hill were. Um, I think you're wrong. What do you mean? Zach Myers, Justin Moore of Ingram Hill, uh, Dolt. Oh, wait, there is somebody else. L is C, um, I don't know how you want to pronounce that. It's not focusing. Um, yeah, I think you said it right. I forgot about them. Okay, L-S-C-M. so, yeah, there is three opening acts and then Zach. <laughs> and then Zach. And, um, yeah, so the first act doesn't even go on until eight. I don't know how long of sets they're playing, so it sounds like Zach might not go on till after ten or eleven. And... I'm hoping to get this interview, and if that actually ends up working out, then we might be there until 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Which means I need more caffeine. <laughs> Give me a monster, I'm ready to go. I don't have a monster. Speaking of uh, the show, though, and noticing your shirt, did you want to tell them the story that you told me about your shirt? The getting dressed this morning. Oh, I was already dressed. It's just I normally wear a tank top, and I was, and every time where I go somewhere, I always put a band T-shirt on. And I was skyping someone, and I was like, "What shirt should I wear?" And I named off bands, and I was like, "Choose a band." And then they said, uh, "Bought for my Valentine." And I sat there literally ten minutes. I was like, "Which one?" I have seven of them. <laughs> and um, I literally said that for ten minutes, and I was like. Wait a minute, I'm doing this wrong. I'm about to wear a bullet shirt and I'm gonna go see a Shine Down member. Why would I wear a bullet shirt? Wear my Shine Down t shirt. And here's what's funny him with Bullet, when I realized he had seven of their shirts, I picked on him a little bit because I'm like, God damn, there's way too fucking many. I can't talk because I have six or seven all time low shirts. And you say I have too many. I did because I didn't realize I had that many and then I bought one came home and counted them just out of curiosity and I'm like shit I can't say a word um yeah so it's only two o'clock right now so it'll be a while before we even leave for the show um probably the next clip you'll see will be on the way there or something um yeah so that's what's going on uh I guess I'll keep you updated so the best conversations always happen when I don't have the camera on this is a problem. The phone is now ringing. Um, am I in the frame or is it yes. just this? You're in the frame. Okay. Well, I was sitting here straightening my hair, as you can see by the straightener. And I kind of was like, had, hold it like this, because I gotta fix my hair and all that. And I did that and like actually burned myself. Like an idiot. Shut up. And I, he, Jeremy was like, put it somewhere else. So I, I like, said somewhere that won't burn you. Somewhere that won't burn me. And I'm like, well, everywhere else is going to get burned, so I put it like that. And then I made the comment, at least what's between my legs is bigger. And I said, the size doesn't matter. It's how you use it. I said, well, I must use mine pretty well because it turns things straight. <laughs> but it's also weird because it's purple. Yeah, so that's a little strange. I think you might want to get that checked out. It seems infected. But I like to color. It's aerial infected. Well, paint job. <laughs> and, um, I just was like, God damn it, why was the camera not turned on when that happened? I need to just find, like, a camera that can film, like, a security camera or something. 24-7. Yeah, just keep it where it's 24-7 and I can edit out all the stuff I don't care about. Which is mostly everything because I just sit there and do nothing most of the time. 
but every now and then something funny will happen if I somebody needs a camera. Um, yeah, this was not one of those moments. Could you do something for... interesting? This kissing stuff is not going to hold my audience's no. attention. Just no. Also, we're watching Boy Meets World. And we still have... Very old. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this episode is from, like, 93 or 94. Not entirely certain. It's 93, that's the year we were born. 93. He and I, depending on what time of year this was, might not have even been born yet. It's scary. And I'm playing my guitar. He's playing his guitar, I'm straightening the hair. It's 4.30. Hopefully we'll leave within the next, like, hour or so to go to the show, and... Sorry this is once again a long video. I do not know how to make short vlogs and actually film anything. Sorry. Just trying to get laid. What? How did that have Exactly. I'm confused. Stay confused. Stay very confused. <laughs> Go. Okay. So we're actually here now, and um, I am already taking pictures. I took pictures of meet and greet. We did meet Zach already. I haven't gotten a picture yet. We'll work on that. And I've had permission from all the bands to film, so that's awesome. And uh, I think it was all the lead singers, actually, that gave me permission. I think, yeah. Justin, um, Zach, um, Nathan, really? Yeah, Nate was his name. Um, yeah, they all gave me permission, so... You didn't talk to uh, Bolt's lead singer? No, I... Dolt. Dolt. Yes, I did. <laughs> Nobody seems to know their name. I pulled... No, I knew it was Dolt, but Nathan confused me. No. Yes, um, I did talk to them, and, uh, eventually we'll probably end up getting pictures with people, too. Um, I also have an interview with... can't fucking say their name still. Elysi? Elysi. Elysi. Elysium, that's what it is. Um, I have <laughs> an interview with them. Why don't I just show it just because it's weird me just showing. I feel weird walking on a sidewalk. <laughs> I've never done this before. So, um, and I can see people watching me, so that's a little weird too. But um, yeah, so everything is set in stone. It's good. Nobody goes on until like after 8 though. So, that'll be a while. You going to Hi say there. anything? Hi. <laughs> Yes, this is going to be a very interesting show. Uh, I was talking to the lead singer of Elysium. Elysium. And I feel bad. Dude, if you watch this later, which you might, I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry that we keep butchering your name. <laughs> and um, he was pretty cool. I showed him one of the things I made up, and he thought it was pretty fucking awesome. And gave me some little ideas and stuff, and it was really cool to talk to him. So... We'll see how the rest of the night plays out. Film yourself on that one? Yeah, this is my the little camera. I'm, oh, okay. All my footage is on this one. Okay, so that was me explaining to my mom what the hell I'm doing. And um, I just want to do a quick take thingy before I go back inside because uh, it's been a while since I filmed again. I have two interviews to do after the show's ended. One of them is with Zach. Speaking of, Zach is about to get on stage, so, um, sorry if you can't even hear me, it's kind of loud. Um, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. I'm not very good at this. Mom, anything you want to add? Nope. Okay, we're home now. It is 2 o'clock in the morning, almost. Yeah, I'm filming. I'm not just talking to you. Jeremy just gave me a look like, what are you doing? That was freaking incredible. I have so many stories, and I'm kind of like, I'm so tired that it's all blending together, and I want to talk about it, but I also want to write about it. But I'm so tired, I kind of just want to lay down and go to sleep. Um, it was freaking amazing. Like, 100% freaking amazing. Jeremy? Agreed. He's, like, half dead right now, I think. Um, got to interview Zach from Shinedown. I have another interview, actually, tomorrow. Um, hopefully. hopefully. As long as they get back to me. Which, if they don't, that's okay. 
I'll just send them their questions on Facebook and be like, hey, you, answer this, please. Hopefully you remember me. Um, and Zach actually shocked the hell out of me. He said he really doesn't like doing interviews, but he liked the way I went about it and did it. And it just made me happy because he said he hated doing interviews and he did it. And he also said he wasn't too big of a fan of, um, taking pictures and stuff. And I saw him taking a ton of pictures. And, um, hopefully you'll be able to hear all of it. I have the whole thing filmed. Um, <laughs> the conversation I'm hearing, I don't know if you could hear in the background. <laughs> um, I don't even know what all I'm saying anymore. I have so much I want to talk about. It honestly, on some level, doesn't seem real. Is that normal? I've never had this happen before. It actually doesn't seem real. On some level. Jeremy. I don't I don't know. I'm gonna go to bed, I think. Uh, look for stuff on my page. If by the time you see this, it'll probably already be something. It'll be on the website, not the page. Well, and the page, but whatever. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm rambling and trying to film myself. And I'm proud of myself. I filmed in front of people. I didn't completely think about it. I mean, I was a little self-conscious, but I didn't, like, stop myself. So, yay! I This is the night that... The kind of night that I wish I could have more often. Because, dear fucking lord, this is... That's the life right there. Just with known bands. What? Known bands. Oh, at least with no bands. I'm no, like, huh? Known bands. <laughs> We're both exhausted. Why the fuck would I say no bands? Hence why I was confused. Don't make any fucking sense. Hence why I was confused. I'm always confused. Shut up. We're gonna go to sleep now, I think. Talk to you later. This was awesome. I feel the need to say I love you. Because I kind of feel like I couldn't have done it without people following me. So, thank you. I love you. Good night. We tried to break up with me during that set because they decided to do a breakup song and they're like, do you have anyone you need to break up with right now? Then call them real quick and there you go. And then Jeremy just sort of leaned over and was like... I leaned over and I said, sorry, it's over. And I was like, breakup denied. I was like, you, you've you been degraded from best friend. And I said, well, he's been denied, so... And tough shit Of course I was being denied. <laughs> he was being denial. denial. Yes, it's all denial. I said he was kind of screwed considering he was in my bed tonight. Yep. Him that squishy. That's has been squishy. Well, I'm going to now actually end this for real. I'm tired now. My head's starting to hurt. It's killing me. <laughs> Just saying. <sighs> okay.